clockwork around here. Early workout um, for our push session. And we are once again at Iron Heaven uh, number two in what I described as Shitty County, Nebraska, but it's really Sarpy County um, over in the La Vista Pavilion area. Uh, have a little animosity towards that area that we won't get into. <laughs> but uh, anyway, here I am warming up my uh, rotator cuffs, getting ready for the press and mess ahead. Uh, this workout was unique um, because all the other videos for push, I started off with chess. But we're going to do a little bit different today. I'm going to do something that I picked up from Ed Koo and that we're going to start off with shoulders. So yes, warming up the rotator cuffs for some impending shoulder work. Um, so why do I do that? Uh, or why do I like that rather? Because um, I don't do it normally. Um, let's just be honest, John Meadows programming leaves a little bit to be desired for shoulder work. Um, I just wanted to do this as a way to get some extra shoulder work um, and then just play around with some things. Uh, I haven't trained shoulders first in a push day in a while. So starting off with laterals here, I did around about, a, I did a, I think three or four sets. I think it was three sets, uh, 12 reps. And really what I'm trying to focus on is that contraction in the side head. Definitely when you do a lateral, you want to concentrate on that contraction because this is not a exercise you want to use a lot of weight on. I know a lot of guys have seen Branch Warren heave up those 100 pound dumbbells, but I assure you, for the non-genetic freaks, a little bit uh, strict form with a, with some body English, not much, uh, will yield you greater fruit over time than slinging up some dumbbells that are absolutely too heavy. So again, three sets of 12. I was really trying to get them above my ears, uh, just even trying to engage the trap a little bit. Uh, but these will build up your shoulders like nobody's business if you stay consistent on them. Um, train for that pump and progressively get better at the exercise over time and get stronger. Um, next, as you can see here, doing a machine press. Uh, this is uh, of the Cybex brand. It's the converging shoulder press. As you can see, the handles come together at the top slightly. Uh, I like this. I really didn't think I'd take a liking to this uh, piece of equipment, but I have. Uh, and the thing about it is it's so smooth, uh, you really, you can't even tell that the machine has uh, been used or anything like that. So uh, did three sets here, worked up to two plates and a quarter each side. Um, generally with uh, presses, I like to kind of keep constant tension on them. So machines or the Smith machine or any type of guided press is a little bit better for uh, my style of training than say, uh, than say, uh, I don't know, like a heavy duty style of training. I don't know, but either way, I like to keep constant tension on the delt, just pump it full of blood uh, because shoulders I feel are one of those body parts that you can pump more than you can pound. Uh, so higher reps and a bit stricter uh, guideline as far as form goes is required, I feel. So moving on, hitting the rear delts. Uh, this is the rear delt fly. Um, this is probably one of my favorite rear delt movements uh, besides dumbbell swings on an incline bench. Uh, really here, just two sets of 25. Nothing crazy, nothing insane. Just really striving to get a full contraction on each rep uh, when it comes to this movement, uh, full contraction is key for great rear delt development. Okay, so here we go, the beginning of what I call uh, the tricep of death. Uh, so this is for chest, 
three rounds, uh, starting off with Cybex machine presses. I really like that machine, by the way. So we start off with Cybex machine presses, then progress to cable crossovers, an exercise I don't do a ton of. Um, we did uh, 15 reps here. On the uh, bench we did, uh, it was 10. So it was 10, 15, and for the next exercise, it was basically the failure, which was uh, dips. I'll tell you, when I did that exercise right there, those cable crossovers, it felt like my, it felt like my chest was about to pull apart. And then we go on to dips, and I think I nailed about eight reps for this one. Not really sure, uh, due to the fact that my chest was very, very exhausted by the time I got to it. So we're gonna go through it one more time. Start off with Cybex machine presses, doing a neutral grip. Then we're gonna go on to cable crossovers, and then we're gonna go on to dips until failure. Uh, again, got this from Ed Koo. Um, this will blow your chest up like nobody's business. Um, so if you're interested in trying it, go ahead, do it. Again, make the first two movements uh, double reps as far as uh, 10 to 15. And then your last exercise and try set, you just go to failure. So that's my recommendation. It doesn't have to be on paper like that. But just want to let you know of the possibility uh, that you can do. And to finish the workout off, we're hitting up some tricepticles. Uh, they're actually called triceps for people that don't know. So they are called triceps, not tricepticles. Uh, three sets here on the rope push down, really focusing on spreading the rope apart at the bottom of the movement, getting a good contraction in uh, one of the three heads of the tricep. And then we're going to go on to uh, an exercise I like a lot, tricep dips. And from there, we're just really going to make sure that we just get a good strong contraction again. Um, it's not a stretching movement. Um, I probably should have included a stretching movement uh, prior to the dips, but I didn't. So there we go. Uh, not much I could do about that. But again, uh, this is an old school hammer, old school hammer uh, dip bench machine. So I like it. movement seated tricep extension on the Cybex uh, machine. Uh, I normally don't go too heavy on here, um, but kind of did today. Went above 100 pounds. Sorry, that's not enough for a lot of uh, strong people out there, but just uh, something uh, I like to do. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the workout. Uh, this was a stem ID load still, so Still taking a little bit easy, but uh, got some more information for you on some things, uh, upcoming stuff. If you just uh, stay tuned, and, uh, I'll tell you in the next clip. Hey guys, as you can see, I'm here at Iron Heaven out here in uh, Sarpy County. This is the brand new location. Lots of new toys in here. Benches, squats, squat bars, all that good stuff. So today we did if you stuck by this far, we did a uh, definitely kind of a semi deload still, as well as a uh, adjusted push pull or adjusted push session today rather. Start off with shoulders, triceps for chest, and then straight sets for triceps. So this is the last workout of the week. Tomorrow, Sunday, I'm off. Monday, I train. Tuesday, yes, I know it's Christmas, but I guess what, I have key card access to gyms, so I'm training that day. And we're just gonna do push-pull legs, and we're just gonna keep riding it out for a while. Uh, push-pull legs is kind of a split that's back in vogue. Um, I'm gonna ride this out for a little bit longer. Uh, so far, since I got done with Creeping Death 2, like I said, this is in my D-load. This is my 13th week on like a push-pull split, so, now we're just gonna keep on riding and see how far we can take things. Uh, the daily trainer will be starting on Monday, so please stand by for that. Uh, routines are gonna be different, or as far as exercise structure, we're gonna go heavier, the volume may be lower, may be higher. 
again, I'm building these workouts by the day. Um, so we're gonna be, it's gonna be intense. That's all I gotta say. We're gonna, it's gonna be intense. Uh, and again, just to provide transparency, I do get most of my supplements from a supplement store that I work at, Rexius Nutrition, right here in Omaha, Nebraska. And uh, I get the opportunity to try new and different things. Uh, and by no means, just because I'm trying something new and different, means you need to try something new and different. You may not have the money, you may not want to, you may have your old standbys. I like new stuff and I kind of have training and supplement ADD, so I like to experiment with new things. Again, this is all for fun, this is all to keep me accountable, this is all for you guys to get some good information, get some great workouts in. Workouts are going to be posting the daily trainer on my website, and we're just going to make it roll. We're going to make it roll. Uh, let's make 2019 a kick-ass year, and it starts early. So. Thank you. If you've watched, please check out my website, tenacitystrength.com. Uh, check out my social media, Instagram, at I am Larry Brown. Uh, and my Twitter is at Bad Bad Leroy B. And if you search Facebook, you can see the you can see the most muscular picture I got up there. Just search for Larry Brown and I'll come up in pages. So thank you for watching. God bless and uh, hope you have a fabulous weekend. All right, take care. Chicago.